Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Thank you for tuning into this video. How rare is silver? Gold is the almighty royal metal, making people think that gold is much more rare than silver is. Especially since the gold to silver ratio is sitting around 88 to 1 right now. You would think that gold is 88 times more rare than silver. What if I told you that silver is actually more rare than gold is? It comes out of the ground roughly 8 to 1, but a lot of gold is recycled, remelted, reused, rescrapped, where silver is lost in industrial uses, making it actually lower. So this article from Provident Metals makes a beautiful statement, a beautiful uh, just um, uh, article covering the rarity of silver and how precious this precious metal really is. So before we start, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new because I do post daily videos. So anyways, let's jump into it. Metal She Wrote, How Rare is Silver? This week, an astute customer emailed Provident asking about the rarities of gold and silver. I extensively researched the rarity and the scarcity of each metal. I studied how many tons of both silver and gold have been mined sub subsequently and consumed. What's interesting is that I discovered information that support nearly any stance on the comparison of the two metals availability and accessibility. Most studies agree gold is the overall more rare of the two metals. However, above ground silver is actually more rare than gold. Estimates report gold is five to seven times more abundant above ground than silver. Beneath the surface, silver is approximately 19 times more abundant than gold. See, under the surface, silver might be more rare, to, might, might be more common to find. But when the, the top producers of silver, Mexico, Peru, Chile, Australia, China, are abandoning silver mines, they're not digging out silver, then that should show right there that the silver, even though it's under the ground, if it's not being dug up, then it still isn't present. It still can't be used. And silver, the most highly conductive metal for thermal conductivity and electricity is used for all these things. If it's under the ground, it's useless. So silver isn't much more common than gold is. Or gold isn't much more common than silver is. To date, over 1.5 million tons of silver have been mined. Industry has consumed 90% of the, of the mined silver, leaving a huge opportunity for a commodity shortage in the years to come. And this is the important part. Industry has consumed 90% of the mined silver. So there's a huge opportunity for a silver shortage to be happening because it's all used up. All the silver we're finding, we're digging out of the ground, it's being consumed in our laptops, our cell phones, our, all of this space equipment, solar solar technology, EVs, electric vehicles. So the silver shortage is definitely a possibility, and I don't think people stress this enough. Mining f for specifically, or mining silver specifically has dramatically declined, which I was just mentioning. In 2017, the majority of silver is mined as a byproduct of other metals like copper and lead. And that's meaning they're finding silver by accident, basically. They're not trying to focus on digging silver out of the ground. It's by accident. For every 12.5 tons of earth, 27,600 pounds, there's one gram of silver. This ratio combined with the extraordinary low spot price of silver makes mining the precious metal less profitable and less appealing than many other metals. And that's what I was talking about. Miners... They aren't digging up silver because you would say, okay, well, if the, all this silver is underground, why isn't anyone digging it up? Because they're chasing the dollar. Gold is more profitable. Lead and zinc is more profitable to them. They're not going to focus on silver if it's not going to put money in their hand. They're chasing the greenback, and they don't care about the consequences because later down the line, if the demand can't meet the supply, you can see how this can turn into bad waters. And this is why industrial side of it's already paying premiums on silver bullion because of the shortage happening. And it's at where we're starting to see firsthand what the consequences are. So anyways, uh, so... Uh, Okay, so uh, like copper, lead, and zinc. So for every 12.5 tons of earth, 27,600 pounds is one gram of silver. This ratio combined with the extraordinary low spot price makes the mining of the precious metal less profitable and more appealing than, other me than many other metals. So this mining shortage has the potential to create an enormous industrial or industry shortage of silver. So then, why is the spot price of silver so low? 
Why is there an 80, I'm going to reform this, 88 to 1 gold to silver ratio when it seems like gold is more easily mined and doesn't face the same consumption habits as silver? I share the theories as of many others who believe in silver spot prices and controlled by a combination of a few factors. I believe price manipulation is live and well. We see banks like JP Morgan, the Dutch bank Merrill Lynch, controlling, manipulating silver markets called spoofing, placing false buy orders. Um, and this is definitely an act to manipulate the silver price. The gold to silver ratio was actually 16 to 1 until in the 30s, FDR changed it to 75 to 1. So we've seen silver prices being manipulated for, for a very long time. So several large banks are currently under fire for their roles in the verified price rigging. I believe more banks will be prosecuted in the near future as well, which this person was right. She was right. Uh, J.P. Morgan actually got caught in uh, their charge. Three of their employees got arrested for spoofing. So in addition to banks, industry has a huge interest in keeping silver prices low. I mean, by undervaluing the metal, undervaluing the metal, their supply cost remains low and profits high, which is definitely true. Silver is used for so many things. I mean, imagine if the price was higher, they still have, they still need it. If silver shoots up to a hundred dollars, they still need it. They're still going to have to pay those prices. But if it's manipulated lower, then it, they make more profits. It's all dollar driven, if you can see. And that's the greedy part of it. And that's the, that's the sad part of it is because they're chasing a dollar and the dollar's cra collapsing itself. They're missing the whole point. But from a, from a for producer and a consumer standpoint, I can get it. But like I always say, the consumers are going to turn into the producers, and the producers are going to be turning into the consumers. The roles are going to be switched. The people like you and I that are stacking silver are going to be selling it for a very handsome amount, and the people that are, you know, that on the opposite side who need it, they're going to be the ones having to buy it. Because they need it. The key word is need. They need silver. We need silver for the for the latest iPhone to come out. We need silver for the for the latest laptop to come out. Look at the industrial. Look at the technological world we're advancing in. Everything's digital now. Silver's going to be needed more and more and more. And especially with EVs, electric vehicles, we're going to you know in 30, 40 years, every car is going to be an EV. Silver's widely used, and heavily used in in that as well. So it's not like the the shortage is going to affect it. We're just going to have to. They're just going to have to pay higher prices. And that's also why it's so important that the demand can meet the supply. Because if not, we won't be getting the latest iPhone, or it'll be extremely uh, high, uh, high of a price. So anyways, uh, I know I harped on this last week, but I do believe silver has a marketing problem as well. If the general public truly understood the investment opportunity silver presents at current spot prices, I think we would consistently be sold out of silver, which I, that's why I try to make my videos. I try to inform people on the undervalued aspect, the fundamental, the intrinsic value, value that silver has. All this means we can take more of it. We are going to reap the rewards even heavier because it's obvious silver is a ticking time bomb. It's obvious there's lots of potential in it. But if no one else is going to jump, jump the gun or join us, then that just means so much more for us then, right? I, that's why I always think fellow stackers are some of the smartest people in the world because we understand the markets. We see the bigger picture. We can step outside of ourselves and look at the re, the, re, the realistic market, look at the realistic future and say, you know what? This is right. This makes sense. Where most people are too ignorant or, or brainwashed to see that. They're too brainwashed by the dollar. So while gold is more rare below the surface, silver is more rare and undervalued above ground. Silver has been operating at a supply deficit for many years. And I think it's only a matter of time before spot price re uh, reconciles with the true value of this beautiful bullion. So share your thoughts on silver. Do you know silver is more, did you know that silver is more, uh, more rare above ground than silver? Uh, then where do you see the price of silver going in the next five to ten years? So I think this is a, a very well written article. I definitely could relate a lot to it. I definitely love the points that she made, and it's true though. I mean, I definitely see the demand. We you know low supply, high demand shoots the price up, and if the demand can't meet the supply, that also shoots the price up. And this is just from the surplus standpoint. We haven't even talked about the intrinsic value of it. We haven't even talked about the hyperinflation or the geopolitical fears as a safe haven asset and all of that as well. There's so many other things that don't even go along with this article that still could also be pushing prices higher aside from it as well. So silver is a highly opportunistic metal to invest into, and I definitely think it has the most potential 
substantial out of every other metal as well. But I'm curious what you guys thought of this video. Did you know that silver is actually more rare than gold? Is it something you think is going to be affecting prices sooner? Or do you think market manipulation will keep things lower on the lower end? And to what extent? Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe because I do post daily videos. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.